Okay, the uh, other day we had a question uh, from one of our readers about uh, how we tie the red damselfly. And uh, this one we kind of cheated a little bit than uh, our normal way of tying damselflies. Instead of using three plumes of marabou, we end up using two. Um, a smaller size one, and then a little bit bigger. And uh, what we'll do is just uh, lay a base of thread, like we normally do with most flies, and then um, we'll put the bead head on there and do a figure eight wrap and use some super glue and let it set. And then after that, uh, we'll go ahead and lay, sort of like a clouser style, we'll lay a thin deal of marabou, just like this. And again, it'll be on the uh, bottom. It's a very simple tie. Um, fairly done quickly. Just having a little um, harder time than normal, mainly because we have the uh, camera in the way. And just snip it off here and tie it down just a little bit. There we go. And now uh, you can either flip it over or uh, undo it. In this case, we'll just undo it. Set it in there. And kind of do about a hook shank and a half, possibly two hook shanks. In this case, we're using a size 8 hook. Just lay it right on there. And just get a couple of thread wraps in there to secure it in place for us. And then after that, we'll snip that off. We'll snip it off at an angle. And we'll just build up the head. And then uh, take our whip finish tool. Oops. Straight over here and whip finish it. And sometimes, uh, just to clean it up, we'll um, take a uh, lighter and clean up the. Uh, Little feathers here. Other times we'll just leave it as is and just uh, put a little bit of uh, head cement. In this case, uh, we like to use <clears throat> our significant other's um, hard as nails nail polish because that seems to work pretty good mm -hmm. just to secure it in place. And that's it. That is the damselfly.